All right, boys and girls, something a little bit different for you in this video. One of the things I'm going to be doing as part of this year's non to Legend is I'm going to visit every single club that I manage and watch a football match there. So, of course, non to Legend with Peterborough Sports started just a few days ago as I'm recording this. This is my first opportunity to come down and watch the turbines in person. I am now in their car park. The ground is just over there. We're going to be watching Peterborough Sports versus Spennymoor. And I can't wait. I grew up in Peterborough and had no idea this ground was here. So this is this is a very strange experience for me today. But we are going to go in, have a look around, and hopefully see some of our heroes that we've already met as part of the new series. Here you go, folks. We are here, and I tell you what, this is nothing like any non-mix legend start the club I've been to before. We talked on the intro to the series about the meteoric rise this club had been on in the last five, six years, and oh my word, does it show. Um, the car park is basically a GP surgery car park. We have to walk around the side here um, through community football pitches as kids the other side of that fence playing football right now. Um, this like corrugated iron shed thing is the turnstile from what I can gather. It's the only turnstile. We come in, we've got uh, just grass behind the goals. There's no like concrete terracing anything like that. The stand over there that takes up maybe a third of the pitch. A small stand here. This is awesome. This is this is proper proper non-league. This is the most non-league non-league legend has ever started. I'm in the terrace behind the goal. I am the only person in the terrace behind the goal. To be fair, we are still like 40 minutes from kickoff, so I don't expect them to get a, a rush on the terraces. I don't know how busy, I don't know how busy a typical Peter Sports match is. I'm very excited. There's the dugout, which I'm staying well clear of because you know they might they might make me do some work. And there's that little stand talked about before just the other side of that i'm now at that kind of iffy stage but because the series has been out i think we've had six episodes in the series out i don't know how many of the players have seen any of it and i'm trying to remember who i've criticized and who i've released and smile at the right ones and hide from the right ones every now and again one of them will wander over and there'll be a kind of half look and i'm like are they looking because there's not usually someone stood here or are they looking because they know who i am and they want to come and fight me it's quite scary but Warm-ups going on behind me. Pretty much how I'd have done it. I approve. Probably as close as I'm going to get to the dugout today. They're shooting the opposite way to what I was expecting in the first half, so we're, uh, we want to make sure that we're behind the goal sports are shooting towards, obviously. We have change ends. That is the goal that sports are shooting towards. Let's see grass. Absolutely love it. Not watched a football match stood on grass since I was a little kid. This is awesome. What's also awesome is that very fancy scoreboard that I wasn't expecting. Let's just consider this gash cam and we're just keeping an eye on him. One nil to Spennymoor, absolutely out of nowhere. It was their number two who scored, so I don't know if that's a marauding right back or shenanigans with squad numbers. Either way, I'm not on board with it. Oh dear, one nil. My boy Semi Ferris causing all kinds of problems. That's the second time he's been clattered, bursting into the area. That one suspiciously looked like it might have been inside, but it's been given as a free kick. It's about to be 1 1. Right, I need one of you lot to dive in front of the camera if it comes this way. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Do a football! It's not one one. As you know, we're all about professional match day vlogging here. We are exactly 20 minutes into the first half. Realise I haven't actually told you the teams. Here they are. Those are the teams. We recognise most of those boys. This low sun is not only wreaking havoc with the video, but it's made it very difficult to see anything that happens on that side of the pitch. That's the side they should be attacking down. Crosses come in from that side. The only problem is the ball's usually all the way over there. Half an hour gone, still 1-0 to Spennymoor. I am uh, I'm thinking it might be time to make a move towards the burger van, which is just there and currently has. Where is it? There. No queue. It smells very burgery. Remains 1-0 at half time. But more importantly, I have a double cheeseburger with onions. I have onions, there was no onions there. Apparently. I wanted onions. Double cheeseburger with onions. So I'm going to enjoy my little picnic here on the grass before we have to change ends, head down there and hopefully see a Peterborough Sports goal in the second half because they've not even looked like getting close in that first half, which is very sad. But food review will be incoming. I've only got two hands though, so you'll have to bear with me. So I promised you a food review. I've eaten a lot of burgers over the years. That well, was definitely one of them. In position for the second half, back where we were, when it all began several hours ago now. The sun is going down, the floodlights are on. We were, we were interrupted by a steward there who came to do a bag search and then had to report over the radio that you had football shirts in your little bags because you're carrying it under your coat. You're, like, you're smuggling it. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was awesome though. Um, good to see you on top of the security. He searched the bag and then was in the radio. <laughs> Just football shirts, we're fine. Which, which club? They picked up our shirts, we're good. That was uh, that was one of the maddest things that's happened at a football match. Um, but yeah, we are uh, just awaiting the second half and hopefully Manish or Jordan Nicholson coming on. They're both on the bench. We would like to see one or both of them for midfield attacking shenanigans. That's what we're hoping for. Here we go then, boys and girls. Who have we got here? Come on, Manny! 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 Come on, so yeah Manish is on we're excited we're waiting for something to happen now because we're probably about 10 minutes into the second half shenanigans alert there is a kerfuffle over there by the benches this is a full-on kerfuffle no idea what's gone on. We seem to have reached a uh, conclusion for the kerfuffle, though. Not sure if the ref's going to do anything about any of it. It was just a lot of uh, silly boys crowding in on each other, football style. Bunch of rascals. You don't get that kind of commentary on the telly, do you? This is this is what you're here for. Well, that was Manish bursting into the area, pulled down. Referee gives nothing. He's certainly livened things up. He's still my hero. Ever since the kerfuffle, as it will be referred to, 
It has been hectic stuff. And choice language. You turn, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> Best chance of the game so far. We are halfway through the second half. There's got to be a goal coming. Well, there's going to be no gasher clock today. He's just gone off with 20, 20 ish minutes left of the match. There's still a goal coming. Frustratingly, it does seem to be the only kind of opportunity sports are getting are from set pieces, and they're not very effective. We've got. 15, 20 minutes left, tops. Running out of time here. Jordan Nicholson is on the bench. He's been injured for ages, but he's on the bench today. I don't know if we're gonna to get to see him, but uh, it's looking less likely that we're gonna see a Peter Sports Garden. Very sad about it. <laughs> More shenanigans going on, a little bit of a tussle again over the ball. I mean, it's a drop ball. Everyone's getting very cross about it though, both on the pitch and here on the terraces. Yellow card has just been given out to somebody. It is all kicking off now. This is proper novelty fun. And now we've had a red card. We had a uh, handball over here, and then which got a yellow card for. And then he was involved in this little tussle here to get the ball back from the throw in. And um, yeah, they were like shoving each other. And he's got the second yellow card for that. He's been sent off. So sports now down to 10 men with 10, 15 minutes left in the match. I think that probably extinguishes any hope of an equaliser. Absolutely. Watch your shot all the time, Oh, that was a save, my word. What a save. One. red card has just sparked sports to life. It's 1-1 currently, no more than five minutes or so left, but if anyone's going to score again, oh god, it's very more attacking. Luckily, massively over hit cross. Get back to the point I was making, it feels like it could be a sports winner in this. We're into stoppage time now, five minutes added on. Moment. 
time 1 1, probably fair. Sports weren't really in it until they went down to 10 men and Manish came on and kind of changed everything. Did think for a minute there they could have been a winner. But you know what? We had a lot of fun. We got to see Manish do a football. Done. Looks very cool under floodlights, doesn't it? I love not big football. It's great. And I'm back in the car in the doctor's surgery next door, and there's a little bit of a queue to get out. So I guess this is as good an opportunity as any to say goodbye. Um, I think I've mentioned earlier in this video. If I haven't, I've definitely mentioned it on stream. But the plan is for this year's non-league stages, I'm going to come and do this at every club that I manage. Hopefully, while I'm still managing them on YouTube as well. Certainly, once we get into some of the more European tour type shenanigans. Might take a little bit more organisation to get the trips planned, but there should be a playlist of match day vlogs for every team we manage on this year's non to Legend. Something a little bit different that I've been planning to do for years, but there was some reason I couldn't travel around going to football clubs for a few years. But this year, fingers crossed, we can. So if you've enjoyed having some different kind of content on the channel, fingers crossed, there's more to come. And hopefully... We get to see a win in the next one. Thanks for watching, folks. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that usual stuff. And I'll see you in more normal attire in a football manager video very soon.